Hiya, so this is lesson three of the circles pack. Um, it's all about tangents and normals. So it says a tangent to a circle is a line which touches at one point and is perpendicular to the radius. So like this part here is my radius, isn't it? I've got a diameter, but because I'm, I'm dealing with circles, I'm really interested in the, the radius. So it says, uh, so the gradient is, I'm going to put perpendicular to, oh no, I've got that, haven't I? I've already got the gradients perpendicular to the radius. So it's a negative reciprocal. So it's a negative reciprocal of the gradient. So the normal to the circle is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent, but it's also it's it's the, it's the gradient of your radius as well. So is the same as radius. So it says top tips, always draw a picture. Well, you know I always draw pictures anyway. Right, so let's have a look at this. Now I'm actually going to do finding the normal first because that's easier because that is using the radius. Uh, so it says the point P is minus 111, lies on the circle there. Okay, find the equation of the tangent and the normal. So looking at this information, I know that the centre is minus 4, 7. So if you did want to draw a picture, I'm just going to draw it in the middle here somewhere. So there's my, my dodgy circle. The centre is at minus 4, 7. Point P is at minus 1, 11. So point P is here. Because it's to the... Oh, no, it's not actually, is it? Hang on. Minus 1 is to the right. Oh, that's my undo. That's no good, is it? Let me dot off there. So minus 111 is on actually over here. There. So point P minus 111. So the radius, the equation of the radius, it's my normal. And then I've also got the tangent going that way, which touches the circle. And we we'll do the normal first because the normal is the radius, so that's easier to do. So First of all, I want the radius, I want the gradient down to. So I'm doing the gradient from minus 4, 7 through to minus 1, 11. So if you remember how I do it, it's a change in y, so I do right hand point minus left hand point, right hand point minus left hand point. So that gradient is going to be 4 over 3. There. Now, I've got to be careful, well, for the radius, it doesn't matter which point we use, but I'm going to use point P. So I'm going to use P minus 111. So that would be Y minus 11 is 4 thirds X plus 1. And that there is the equation of the normal. P. So really, it's the equation of the radius. Right then. So for the tangent, that is perpendicular to the radius. So I know from the normal, which I did first, I know that the gradient of the radius was 11 minus 7 over minus 1 minus a minus 4. So it's 4 thirds. So therefore, my gradient of my normal is minus 3 quarters. Once again, I'm going to use the point P. Now, when I did the normal, it didn't really matter. I could use the centre or P because both of them go through the line. But with the tangent, I need to use this one. Use this one. Otherwise, I'll just get a line going through the centre. So it would be y minus 11 
it's minus three quarters, it's plus one. So that's that bit done, it took five minutes. The question is, do I stop there or do I keep going? I'm tempted to stop there actually.